So Aquarius, trouble in paradise, it seems. Okay, so let's talk about the center of the spread, the heart of the matter. We have here the Two of Cups. And it's in the reverse position, which indicates to me um, this is a very strong soul union between you and another person. You feel it at the center of your core, okay? And it's not often that another person can touch an Aquarius person's heart in such a deep and profound way. But for whatever reason, um, in, when it's in the reverse position, it indicates to me a situation where communication is not flowing well. There is a lot of uh, difficulties getting the relationship, the, the situation off the ground because in the challenge position, we have here the Four of Cups, which is, I feel somebody is really, really not making a move. They're not budging. They're not revealing how they feel about you. It's another person that's not doing this. They're very, very stubborn. And I feel almost like if they were to grab a hold of you, it's going to kind of like turn their world upside down. So this is a person that is very reputation conscious, very status quo oriented. They don't like change. They don't like to make a move. They don't know what the future holds. And in a way, I feel almost like they see you as being a little bit too unpredictable they see you as being, you know, like it's easy for you to kind of turn off that switch in your mind whenever you feel like, okay, this relationship is not really serving me. I'm going to turn off my feelings. So they see you as someone who might not be consistent or reliable. And as a result of it, they might admire you from afar. They might ponder and think about what it's like to be in a relationship with Aquarius. But at the same time, they're not really making any concrete moves in the external world. And as a result of it, I feel like you could be ruminating over this person, waiting for them to kind of like turn around or waiting for them to make some type of offer. This is a situation that has been very contentious between the two of you. This is you battle weary, really exhausted, very tired. And I also feel like you're deeply hurt. You're deeply, deeply hurt by this person, their actions, their inability to show their true colors and their inability to kind of open up and be vulnerable with you. So you're very, very, very tired. And I feel like, you know, um, the next phase is the 10 of wands, which is I'm done. I'm dropping the burden. I'm moving on. I'm picking up the pieces of my life and moving on. And you are almost at that stage right now. What you're really thinking about here is the Ace of Cups. Why isn't the, this relationship getting off the ground? Why aren't things being reciprocated? Why, if it's meant to be, if I feel it so deeply, why isn't it getting off the ground? Why isn't it gaining traction? If it has, and honestly, I feel like with the magician in the reverse, it seems like somebody made false promises to you. They painted this picture that everything is going to be beautiful. Uh, we have so much potential together. If you just be with me, then, you know, I can give you this glorious love. And I feel over time, you realize that it was just talk. You realize that, you know, they said whatever was necessary at that moment to get what they wanted. But when it comes to following through, they might be full of BS. Okay, so I feel... A, disappointment and a little bit of resentment coming from your end waiting for this grand love waiting for this great gesture and yet the other person is giving you um, a little bit of false hopes okay they're not starting things um, they might just be all talk and no concrete action is taken from their end okay there is potential here where I feel like, you know, there is great love. There is feelings and it, it's overflowing. One of cups, two of cups, and then escalating to the four of cups. And yet nothing is really happening in the physical realm. And I feel like you're not going to be bound to this anymore towards especially the middle of the week. You might have already thought about, you know, I'm going to have to... Uh, cut my losses and move away. And if they're not following through, I'm not going to waste any more of my energy, any more of my time. And what's coming in for you in your advice? We have here the page of cups. This person emotionally might be a little bit immature. So whoever you're dealing with, whoever is making you these uh, promises, I feel like 
they're very, very, very commitment phobic. Okay, so I feel somebody who's closed off. I feel somebody who's not able to show their emotions or express how they feel. And I feel like it's somebody who is just emotionally, um, I don't want to say immature. I want to say emotionally very underdeveloped. They're a nice, sweet, caring person. But I feel like they're able to express their depth of emotions on a very superficial level. What you have in your external environment, this is the Knight of Pentacles. And I feel for some of you, um, this is a concrete action that somebody is taking towards you. Okay. They really want to offer, they're staring at you and they're staring at what they have on hand to offer for you. I don't feel so much the energy is an earth sign, but for some of you, it could be especially Capricorn. So I have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, um, sun, moon, or rising, but I feel like the energy is they're very, very slow moving. They're contemplative and they're not really sure. They're not really sure how to go about this. How is it going to plan out? Because with this person, when they make a move, they want to make sure it 100% will play out. So I feel like at this point, they're looking at the potential of it, but they're really not able to make that move. And the reason for that, we have the lovers, third party interfering in a situation. We have them them possibly or you possibly dealing with a lot of guilt okay i feel like you're waiting for this person to make an offer and they definitely see the potential in this relationship and there is really really strong love and attraction printed all over this spread but i feel like in the physical world nothing is really happening and i felt this energy for you guys last week where it's like it's making that you doubt your emotions is making you doubt your reality and more than anything is making you doubt your intuition if i feel it so deeply you know why isn't it manifesting and it's because the other person is very 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 scared okay they're not able to look beyond this this is really strong attraction but what else is there is the strong attraction enough for them to step forward and build a future with you they also see you having a lot of things on your mind dealing with anxieties dealing with a lot of things that are keeping you up at night that you're you're worried and so they're looking for a relationship partner that can really match their pace that doesn't really rush them and they're not really sure how this is going to pan out so just think this is somebody who's very security oriented when they make a move they want it to be for the long haul so they're not down to you know just have like a, a fling a one night stand or go off based on this physical attraction and so you have to kind of understand where they're coming from and why they're not able to meet you halfway okay um, in your hopes and fears, your hopes being able to have a very, very vibrant social life, being able to express how you feel, being able to be flirtatious and to be open and to allow, you know, um, people to not feel intimidated by you so that they can step forward. Okay. In your fears with this in the reverse position, it's sort of like, how do I be flirtatious without seeming to be you know desperate or um revealing too much of myself and my feelings and 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 feel too vulnerable so i feel like you're straddling the fence how do i express myself without coming across as needy and vulnerable and that's a, a major, major Aquarian ego thing, okay? So just be careful that if this is somebody you really care for and the only thing that's really standing in between you and them, for, so for example, if no third parties are involved, the only thing that's standing you between you and them is just they're not really sure how they feel about you. Then you need to kind of like step up and let them know how you feel. And I feel like once you do that, all this mental energy is going to fall to the wayside. Okay. 
I definitely feel here you have a situation where you are very deeply attracted to another person. It shows up Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. You might not be completely compatible. You might not have the same hobbies. You might not have the same interests. You might not even have the same ideas as to what relationships mean. There's something here where it's really, it's greatly built on physical attraction. You might have somebody that calls themselves your friend, but I feel like they really, really are attracted to you. You might also be very, very attracted to them. Once again, the card of seduction with the strength card here. And this is sort of like, you know, the human and the beast, two people communicating in a way where they don't really get one, one another. And with the justice card in the reverse position, it's almost like the physical connection is really, really strong. It actually hinders communication. And you know how you guys get when your emotions are on the lines. It makes it harder for you to express yourself. You feel a little bit more self-conscious around the other person. And, and it just makes it so difficult for you to really let yourself be vulnerable. How do we... Be vulnerable without seeming, um, I, I feel like the spiritual advice is, you know, small steps towards emotional self-expression, okay? Don't think of emotions as vulnerability. Separate yourself from that paradigm where being open and honest and, and emotional, it doesn't mean you're weak. It doesn't mean you're vulnerable. It doesn't mean that the other person has any type of a upper hand on you. So don't look at emotions as, you know, binding and don't look at emotions as Oh no, someone knows how I feel and now they've got me wrapped around their fingers. So you kind of need to do a little bit of a paradigm shift regarding what emotional expressions mean for you and taking that step and, and really allowing you to see why are you not expressing yourself? Is it fear of vulnerability? Is it fear of feeling desperate? Is it fear of just like being exposed and vulnerable? Is it just the, the discomfort that's associated with the feelings? Uh, try to find a way to overcome it. And I would say journaling is a really good way. If, for example, you cannot have a conversation with somebody face to face, try it through email, try it through another channel. So I definitely feel there are some emotional hangups on your end. And you are associating being emotional with being weak. Okay. And that is not the case Aquarius. So this is something that you kind of need to turn your turn your worldview around when it comes to emotional expressions. Um, someone is really interested in you. There is great chemistry, not great compatibility. I don't sense that you could be dealing with a Leo, um, and a Capricorn or another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo. So Leo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, sun, moon, or rising. And I'm sensing that they're, they, they could be also very, very fearful about making this move. So I see an impasse here. And unless you step up and just, you know, one step at a time, express yourself. Um, I don't see this situation going anywhere. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull out another card to clarify the justice card in the reverse. What does this relate to? I have here the Ten of Wands. If this keeps up, you are going to drop. You're, you're going to drop this situation. It is taking its emotional toll on you, and you're at a point where you're tired. You're physically exhausted, and so if this energy keeps up you're going to drop it and you're going to, you know, cut your losses and move on with your life. I feel like you're already there. And I, unfortunately, it could get to the point where if you don't do this and express yourself, the other person will step forward. And by that time, you would have already moved away. You would have already cut your losses. And, and with you guys, it's like a switch you turn off your emotions, you're done, and you move on. And even if they come back, once you turn off that switch, 
it's not going to be the same, right? So let's start from this position, okay? Let's start from this position. Express how you feel a little bit and um, compliment. This is a card about, you know, hey, I like the way you look. I like the way the, the hair looks on you. I like what you did today. I like the way you resolved that problem. Complimenting the other person. Um, allowing them to feel pride and allowing them to feel um, like you appreciate them, okay? Showing your appreciation, allowing them to feel proud, all right? T stroking their ego a little bit. Um, I hope the reading is helpful for you guys, Aquarius.